What is going on, everybody? It's Oz. Come back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing the NFC East Division Three Round Mock Draft. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the last one. Again, trying to make this a little bit more, uh, a little more consistent over here. Stranger Things, as well as a job, uh, have been getting in the way. Not to mention school. So, without further ado, let's just get into this. Let's have some fun. Um, so yeah, guys, continue dropping comments down below. It's always entertaining. Even if I don't post, I always do like to talk to you guys. Uh, we are actually starting to grow again. So whoop, whoop. Uh, let's make sure that that continues. Obviously, I want to make sure you guys have some fun content to watch. But the draft so far has fallen in an extremely strange order, similar to last time where uh, I didn't even mention it, but I think Chris Olave went number three overall, which is kind of baloney, but whatever. Uh, number four, we got the Eagles here. And I mean, this seems to be a pretty straightforward answer, but again, it is a little bit of a tough one because for me, Sam Howell is my number one quarterback. I'm assuming he's going to be able to rebound from losing his top four weapons. So that is obviously the reason it's going to be, this is a big question mark right here. Evan Neal as well. He's a huge question mark. He's moving, if I'm not mistaken, to left tackle and the poor guy's been bouncing around positions. So I just really hope to see some progression in him. I don't want to see, I don't need to see him to be solid day one because I mean, you saw by the time of the championship, he looked really good. He looked like crap earlier in the year. But this is an easy answer. Derek Stingley, it doesn't matter if you have a full cornerback set or not. Derek Stingley is one of the best corners we have seen in a little while. Again, he he, had, he was a little bit hung out to dry last year with an out and offense that could do anything. So I'm going to give Derek Stingley to the Eagles. Again, It's you can need to continue building that defense. Quarterback, again, is a huge thing that we could have done right there, but to me, I think that you need to continue solidifying the defense. And again, I can't say for certain Sam Howell is the answer. And they also, I'm not, I'm not really a hundred percent sure that Sam Howell would even fit on the Eagles. Like the more I think about it, I'm not really a huge fan of that idea, but regardless, uh, number seven, we got the giants on the board. Now the giants could use a quarterback and the giants, if they're at number seven, they're going to be going for one. It seems a little bit BS that Sam Howell is here. So obviously I am going to respect the board and still take him, but um, in a more realistic world, I would still be looking at Malik Willis here, Matt Corral, who again, I have high hopes for both of these guys. They both might flunk. Who cares? I just like, I, I have respect for my high school quarterback right there, Matt. And then of course, Sam Howell, he has potential. He has some stupid plays, but again, potential. So Sam Howell is going to be the guy. Malik Willis is rising up my board very quickly and that allows us to solidify one of the best uh, players in the entire draft right there i'm surprised georgia got carl Laftis just went up to nine he did have an injury if i'm not mistaken that left him out last year he did i believe play a little bit but um he had like 20 tackles for loss as a true freshman something crazy like that he is a beast i just don't really know if that's the right answer but i'm gonna be honest here I'm still like looking at Evan Neal here. I I'm a huge fan of the potential there after like completely hating on him and then watching how he developed. It was unbelievable. Uh, I thought there were two different players. So to me, I'm thinking Evan Neal's a great target. The, set, the defense is pretty well stacked right now. In my opinion, we could go after a linebacker here. This isn't a really good linebacker class again. Uh, that That's just my opinion on it. I'm not really a huge fan on really any of these dudes, uh, but I mean, Evan Neal has a lot of potential. You can stick him in at guard. That's what I've been saying. Stick him in at guard. Um, you can even put him uh, put him in center. Who cares? This guy's played everywhere. Evan Neal, to me, is too good to pass up on. Uh, for me personally, I think that – wow, I'm surprised. They have Washington at 11. Uh, for me, I think that Evan Neal needs to go probably by like five or six. It, I think the Jets need to take him if he's there. DeMarvin Leal, though – I can't, I can't blame that pick. I can't blame it at all. It's just weird that you're putting Kyle Hamilton in a situation with Vaughn Bell, of course, Jesse Bates, et cetera. But uh, number 11, we got the Washington football team. And to be honest, it's another team that doesn't really need much at all. Uh, they could use a quarterback as well, which um, honestly, it's probably where I'm going to go. I think Malik Willis is the best option. Again, we're just playing like uh, musical chairs of quarterbacks, right? So I think that get somebody for the long haul, a former Auburn quarterback, Malik Willis, now at Liberty. He, he's the real deal, man. I could see some Josh Allen in him. Like, I think that personally, I liked him a little bit better than Trey Lance, but that could just be my fault for not really being, I'm still young at this game, right? So um, I might've missed a couple things on Trey Lance. I just wasn't that big of a fan. 
when I watched him throw, I was like, Ooh, this guy's pretty damn good, but you got to watch him play, not throw. So at number 19, Dallas is sitting here. And I mean, as much as I want to just take Chris Olave just to say, fuck it, because we could, of course, maybe like stick him in the slot or keep, uh, um, keep what's the name CD lamb in the slot and then put Chris Olave where Michael Gallup could be not going to do that. All right. Uh, we could go after a safety here. I would Bubba Bolton's not my number one safety in the class. I, I personally wouldn't be down for that. We could definitely go edge here. Corner still is an issue as well. Personally, I'm just not really a fan of the Kentucky kid who I'm blanking on who got kicked out of LSU, uh, who you guys got in the second round. So, I mean, it was still great because you desperately needed it. But at the same time, like, we'll, we'll check out the corners right now. Ahmad Gardner could definitely be really good. I don't think he has, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's not the most athletic guy in the world. So I'm not going to be sticking him with a bunch of other slow dudes, seven banks. I don't, he seems more like a safety corner hybrid. So like, I love Ahmad Gardner. I think he's a lockdown guy, but for me, I think that we should probably stick away from that. Um, I think that maybe we should go safety. You know, we still do need one safety spot to fill up. Again, this is going to be a year from now. we got a bunch of dudes on one-year contracts, like yeah, Keanu Neal, uh, if I'm not mistaken, DeMonte Casey. It's been a minute since I've looked at your guys' roster. For me, this is undisputably my number two safety in the class, Brandon Joseph. I think that he's an absolute ball hawk. I think he's, he, he's just unbelievably good. I think that people are underrating him a lot, and he's going to show everybody up this year. I think Brandon Joseph is the top 20 player in the class. Sue me, um, but this is why you guys come to watch my channel because I'm not going to be like everybody else, and I don't care. Uh, number 20, they got the Eagles. This is an interesting one because there's still Chris Olave on the board. So do we go the Slim Reaper? And then, I mean, I don't know what the cap situation is going to be like for us. Obviously, we still could go after a quarterback here. It's much less risky. Uh, we got, obviously, the best corner, best defensive back in the class. Uh, we can look at a guy like Matt Corral for somebody who is like more, he's more like risk, not risk avert, but like risky in terms of being able to just be like uh, Brett Favre type where it's like either a pick or a touchdown. I don't know if we exactly want that. That might be the reason why we were at number four, but regardless um, at number 20, who this could be interesting. We could go after a guy like Charles Cross. Who's really good. We go after go, we could go after Jalen Weidemeyer because again, we could be getting rid of Ertz. We could also be losing Dallas Goddard if he wants a big ass payday and we don't get the change. That is a legitimate thing. So keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. Jalen Watermeyer is a beast. Also, I want to see where they have Josh Wiley in here because I have him as a first round talent um, easily and they have him at 158. So this is the bullshit with, that comes with PFN. Regardless, I think that left tackle spot could definitely use some help with Charles Cross here. I, I know you guys love Jordan Maialata. I know you guys all, I mean, we could also get some safety help in here too, guys. I mean, there, there are some good safety. So that Bubba Bolden's a really good slot corner safety hybrid. Um, but of course we did just get, uh, but this is one name I can never say, but uh, given Brand Joseph's absence, no, we got, you guys know what I was talking about. Um, Charles Cross might be my answer here just because I absolutely love him. We could of course get some extra edge help here. Um, trying to think of what we did in the draft, right? Like it, it's been, it's been a minute. So I think Charles Cross to me is the best option. Again, you could even put him at guard as soon as you have Kelsey leave. And then, oh, we actually, that mm, that would be interesting. Could we go Tyler Linderbaum here and stick Tyler Linderbaum at guard or maybe um, keep the Alabama guy, Landon Dickerson, at guard? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? I, I mean, I personally would prefer that because Brandon Brooks is getting really old. And again, I think Kelsey is going to be gone in one or two years. So Linderbaum is somebody who I think is maybe a top 20 to 25 player in the class. I know that my boy, um, Broshmo, he has him as like a top 10 player or something like that. I'm going to tell Linderbaum again, it has the versatility of being able to be a guard or a center, which is exactly what they were doing this year with Landon Dickerson. I think that it's honestly an amazing move. And again, you solidify that interior and then you get to run all day. So then we can build on the tackles. I just felt a lot more confident about the number one center than maybe the number two or number three tackle in the draft. So now the Eagles are back on the back on the board too. So uh, we could look at people like Perry on Winfrey here. Uh, we could also look at a tight end. I know you guys would get so pissed if I chose a tight end here. Like I just, I feel that you guys would just lose it. Uh, of course, I believe we, did we already, we haven't gone quarterback yet. Uh, we could definitely go quarterback in this situation. 
just because, again, we were at number four overall. People are going to be screaming for a quarterback. We could have definitely taken one right there uh, with Sam Howell, but eh, eh. I think, I mean, I'm a fan of Matt Corral. That's me. I think Matt Corral would be quite fun. He's entertaining. He's going to be uh, more of a re-energizer for this franchise, making sure that there's nobody that they randomly have down here who's insane. Thank God Bo Nix is all the way down there. Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I'd rather go after Matt Corral right now than uh, – I'm don't. i not a huge fan of Carson Strong. I'm going to be honest. Uh, JT Daniels in the third round, okay. Yeah, okay. But I don't think people want another third-round quarterback or second. But Matt Corral, to me, I'm a big fan of. So – Take it from me. I will take it on the chin if Matt sucks this year. He is losing his best weapon, but I'm not going to make excuses for him. I think he can do it as long as he gets his attitude down because you've seen what he can do when he gets on fire. Just it's when he's not. That's when shit like hits the same, uh, hit the fan. So uh, New York again. So we have gotten a, a big haul so far. We got the arguably, in my opinion, number one quarterback and tackle in the draft class. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get any more targets like that. Tight end could be definitely something I would target here. Running back as well. You got Brees Hall here. We don't know how Saquon is going to be doing. His health is a legitimate issue. You can get Justin Ross here, but I think we have an oversaturated wide receiver group now. There's no reason for us to be going after guys like David Bell, uh, John Mechie, Justin Ross. So let's get away from that. Defensive line, we are fine. Uh, We already got our offensive tackle slash guard hybrid. So I'm not really um, in the mood to get Econ Wu here. So, or Ekwanu. So for me personally, I think that maybe the, mm, maybe the best move is to go with a guy who I know is not going to be taking as some bullshit. Josh Wiley as a tight end. Uh, we tried to bring in, oh my God, Mace, not Mason Rudolph. Um, I'm forgetting the guy's first name, but Rudolph from the Vikings. And if I'm not mistaken, he got a fractured foot. I don't remember if he's on the roster still. Uh, that was like at the time where I was up in the air when I made that video. Regardless, it's not like he's a great factor or anything. I think Josh Wiley could be the next Gronkowski. I'm a huge fan of him. And we all know that there's always, there's always some tension with, of course, Ed Ingram. So I'm going to be going Josh Wiley here. I love him. I needed him to go. He just needed to go because he's going to go to the Cowboys next. And I'm not in the mood to deal with ang- angry Cowboys fans right now. So at number 43, you've got Washington. Washington, that could have been another spot where I went sent Josh Wiley, right? Um, for me, I think that maybe we, we don't need – damn, you guys don't need anything. In my opinion, you don't really need anything. We could go after a guy like Ventrell Miller here. I know you guys just got Jameen Davis. Um, Ventrell Miller would add an extra pass rushing element there as well. I'm just trying to think of what we could add to this team. You know, you have such good depth at offensive line, such good depth. We could get a guy like Jarrett Patterson to sit behind Ruye, but he just got a, like a four-year extension. No need to do that, right? Um, I always go uh, Olafosio, but I, I don't really want to be boring with that again. Like, you guys do have a really good team. To me, honestly, I think that the best thing to do is to get a guy like Ventral Miller who has some versatility to him and then be able to have him groom under um, some of the more veteran guys there. I just really don't see any flaws. We could get a safety as well, but um, I mean, like I, I'm really not a fan of any of these guys right here to take them. Like just, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to take any of these guys. So for me, it's like, okay, you know, you got KHP, maybe that's like a fourth round guy, third round, especially since he returned to school, he's probably a fourth rounder or maybe fifth even. So that kind of screws that up. But Regardless, we're still back with the Cowboys, um, making sure that we are not going to be double drafting a position. We only had one pick. We got Brandon Joseph. I still think pass rush could be an excellent choice here. Uh, Jake Ferguson is a solid tight end out of Wisconsin, but he is old as hell. We could definitely go Josh Job if you guys want to do that. I want to just make sure that the tight end group uh, doesn't have anybody. Like Jeremy Rucker is a little bit underrated personally, but I mean, again, it's an Ohio State tight end. They never use these guys. Uh, mm, that's, a, that's an interesting one. Uh, I think edge rush could be a good spot though. Edge rush is a good spot. Tyreek Smith, I think showed a lot, especially a lot of development. He has a lot of potential. I honestly think almost more potential than Zach Harrison. (laughs) I just wasn't that surprised by Zach Harrison. So for me, I think that that is going to be my move. Brenton Cox, another amazing pass rusher. So take your, take your pick. I like Tyreek Smith. So I'm going to go with Tyreek Smith. Uh, Next we got the Eagles. Eagles are another team that could use pass rusher though. 
you know, I want to make sure, again, I'm not going to double draft a position because I'm going to be so pissed if I do. Uh, I'm going to be going Brenton Cox here. I think that's just a smart move. Why not? Why not? I know you guys got a lot of pass rush in the draft, like outside linebackers, but you can never go wrong with getting extra youth there. You got some guys in the interior. Again, I think that you guys are going to be using Milton Williams on the outside, but that is such a project that I don't think that it's going to be ready day one. And you got to get best player available. So whether you want to get rid of a guy like Brand Graham or you want to use Brand Graham as a, a mentor, whatever, I don't care. Just, I think that that's the best move possible. So at this spot, man, the Eagles got a lot of picks. Y'all, y'all lucky. Y'all getting a lot of stuff today. Uh, I think that maybe we could fortify that linebacking core a little bit more. Uh, just checking out the defense with the linebackers. Again, we got, I, I think at this point, it's a little bit ridiculous that he's here. So out of respect for the draft board, we're going to be getting uh, Olafosho, who, again, I'm a fan of Washington linebackers. I don't know why. I just like Washington, and I used to hate them. So I like their defense, not their offense. So I, I like it. I think that's a good addition to the team. Just let them sit, develop. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a third-round pick. So take it as best player available. Now, New York's sitting here again. New York, this is where I would say maybe go after a guy like uh, THT. Uh, he's, he's pretty good out of TCU. I'm pretty sure he's a slot corner, which uh, Darnay Holmes is there, though. Uh, out of respect for my boy Darnay, I can't put him in there. Uh, I mean, you, it, it, this is tough to draft for your teams. This division has gone a lot better really quick. Uh, Cameron Harris is not that great. I'm just going to put that in right now. Uh, oof, it's interesting. I would love to look at the running backs right now and see CJ for Dell did not come out. Interesting. Algier had one of the best offensive lines. You know, um, uh, Muhammad Ibrahim could be an actual target here. He's going to be a very consistent, heavy back with great contact balance. To me, that might be my pick. You guys definitely won't like that. I could tell. But, um, I mean, ooh, MP is here, though. MP's not bad at all. He's going to be a veteran center as well. Um, that's probably a really good move. I think that's I think that's the right move, guys. I think getting a guy like MP, who I have a lot of a lot of um, faith in, is going to be the right move. BYU had such a good blocking offensive line. I, they they have such a good offensive line. Big fan of them. Uh, Washington sitting here. We already got the quarterback. Don't need to get anything, but we still will. Let's look for the best player available, right? So I'm looking at a guy like if you want to go two quarterbacks, I don't think you need to, especially with a guy as good as Malik Willis. Um, but you could, of course, go like a guy like Jaden Daniels in there. Uh, any other BS people who should not be down here at all? Trent McDuffie, not going to get him again. I, I like him personally. Cade Mays could be an interesting one, but again, you have such good offensive line depth. Like, there's just nothing wrong with your team. <laughs> like, I, I, I might want to go safety here. Or maybe I could look at a corner who's probably too slow and could transition to safety. Quentin Lake's not bad. Personally, I, I might just try to go after a slower corner. Uh, Joey Porter Jr., honestly, I think it's the best move. Could go Trent McDuffie. Again, Washington corners tend to be able to play safety really well too. And he has a boundary, so you don't have to worry about the slot. I'm going to go Joey Porter Jr., though. I'm a sucker for, um, for the kids, for the descendants of former really good football players. Excuse me. Of course, I did take him last time after I pulled that trigger. So I was like, ah, crap. But here, this is where I'm going to pull the trigger on Trent McDuffie, who I also did take last time. But whatever. You know what? Sue me. Whatever. Um, 84, we got the Giants. Giants, this is probably where I also – I'm honestly going to get a guard here. I'm going to get not uh, – Ben Brown, I took him last time. Zion Johnson, I know BC has a really good blocking offensive line. So we're going to be getting that. I had a bad feeling that I just took an offensive, line, uh, offensive lineman for him. Of course, I'm not going to deal with – having to oh my goodness whatever we'll see in a second it's like I, pfn what like what happened you know that's just uh terrible but yeah we got we got a center here i'm fine with that we got a center and then a guard and a tackle we're still building that entire offensive line yes i do understand that uh we have a guy there who i'm actually a big fan of the guy at the tackle from connecticut that i'm literally blinking on his name right now but we do have a guard spot open. We do have a center spot open. We could have two guard spots open, guys. We could have two because we don't know about Will Hernandez's future. His contract is coming up. He has been performing as well as we thought. So there is a chance that Evan Neal can play right guard or left guard and Zion Johnson can play the other one. It's a third round pick. You get it for depth too. So let me know what you guys think. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the far side. Peace.